For quite some time now, uh, for several years in fact, I've had an Android phone called the Unihertz Titan. And the Unihertz Titan is just this big brick of an Android phone that has a big physical keyboard on it. And I don't even use it as a phone at this point. It's been years since I've even had a SIM card in this darn thing. But what I use it for is emulating old computers. I, I use it for running old Macintosh software. I use it for running DOS software. And honestly, I use it a lot for running Linux software, uh, it, both command line and graphical. But using it, using this, this, uh, this Unihertz Titan Android phone to run graphical Linux software has some serious drawbacks. Uh, you can, running terminal based command line software, it's a champ, man. It's fast. I mean, this, this, uh, this phone, even though it's several years old, is speedy for running Linux command line apps. It's a great experience. But in order to run graphical apps, what you end up having to do is having to run a VNC server and client and connect to your own Android phone running a VNC server in a truded Linux instance from a VNC client on the same device, which means you're not getting GPU accelerated software, you're getting, uh, it's not as fast as it could be for obvious reasons, and it's just not 100% ideal. So that's always been, and it's kind of cumbersome too, because you end up having to, to start up your, uh, your Linux truded environment, and then start up your VNC server, which, you know, you can script to make it easier, but still, and then you got to start up your VNC client and connect to it and uh, it's not not a hundred percent but then i saw this news about android version 16 coming along specifically how it looks like it's going to have gpu accelerated graphical linux software support here's a screenshot from uh the android authority of it running, uh, you'll notice that's that's GNOME. I mean, that, that's 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 the GNOME text editor and and uh, GNOME terminal running right there. And you could run GPU accelerated graphical Linux applications on your Android device. And they are adding in the new a new feature that just happened like a couple days ago in and in the Android 16 nightly builds, which because it's not final and released yet, where you can adjust dynamically how much storage your Linux, basically virtual environment, your truded style environment gets on your, on your Android device. And the, the, the underlying system is all Debian based. So you can run, uh, all sorts of Deb stuff from, from the Debian repositories. And th that is just so incredibly cool uh, because it, it, it really finally makes it possible to run a great deal of graphical Linux software at a decent speed including web browsers and video playback and potentially even video editing and compositing on a Linux device. So we, ha we have sound, GPU accelerated video running on a, a, an ARM based system that can theoretically handle a great deal of storage. I mean, however much you can throw into whatever Android device you've got. I mean, the stuff you could do, you could run Katie in live to edit some videos. Uh, if Android usually has support for most, uh, say, USB microphones and the like. So in theory, in theory, I could use an Android device then to use Linux software to produce the shows that I make, uh, to watch videos, to edit them, all sorts of stuff. I mean, that's, that's pretty doggone phenomenal. This could make, and I, and I posted this over on X earlier, but this could make Android tablets like the Pixel a really sweet deal for a high battery life Linux tablet slash laptop, right? Uh, and I, 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 I'm putting this out there right now in part because I want to hear from people who are using Android 16 because <laughs> I don't currently have an Android device that Google will allow to run Android 16 on. I, I mean, I've got my, uh, where, where is that picture here? I've got my uh, Unihertz Titan, uh, which is great. It's got like six gigs of RAM. It's a nice machine. And yeah, I can't run 
I think I, the latest I can run is maybe Android 14 or something like that. Um, so I can't I can't run the nightlies of Android 16. Uh, but think about this here. Where's where, where, where have I got this tab here? You can grab the Pixel tablet for uh, $399, but I've seen it on sale for like $299. So, so 300 bucks if you get it on sale and you can get the Pixel tablet. Uh, let me pull up the tech specs here. Uh, an 11 inch display that's 2560 by 1600. Um, it's 17 and a half ounces, 12 hours of battery life while video streaming. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, 128 or 256 gigs of storage. It's got a Tensor G2 Titan M2 processors in it. Uh, it's got a uh, an 8 megapixel front camera and an 8 megapixel rear camera, so it can do HD uh, video. So you can have a 1080p front-facing video for for doing whatever you want to do uh and it's it's fantastic right I'm, I'm looking at this and i'm like yeah yeah man this could really be a a quality solution and then on top of that of course then you've got a wicked fast little laptop i mean just just slap on one of those uh cases that has a nice keyboard on it and you've got a, a pretty nice laptop for sub 500 maybe like four 450 bucks 450 bucks for if you buy a really nice uh, a keyboard laptop probably closer to 400 not bad not bad especially once they have that gpu acceleration in there so i would love to hear from anyone who has android 16 rocking on on semi-modern Android hardware, phone or tablet, because I really do like that idea. I'm, I'm a big fan of, like I have, you know, I like I like having my nice laptops and my nice desktops, but I kind of almost treat those as, as more stationary things. They're more at home. It's nice to have a far less expensive, smaller, sturdy, fanless, lightweight, but sturdy, little tiny laptop tablet that I can just bring with me anywhere. They can just throw in a backpack and, and take with me to the park. And I'm hanging out with the kids at the park, but I can pull out my little, my little tablet with a little keyboard and, and, and get some work done. I really like that class of device for just having with me. And there's not, I haven't been satisfied with any of the Linuxy laptops and tablets out there in that form factor and size and sturdiness. I see. I saw that uh, uh, framework has got one that's getting close, but isn't quite, and it's still a little bit expensive, and and actually doesn't look all that sturdy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I I like framework and I like what they're doing, so I, I'm not trying to dog on them. It just isn't quite filling that niche of of a little tablet sized laptop with a, a nice little uh, keyboard. Honestly, the 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 iPads work well that way, size wise. You know, you get like that roughly ten inch screen. You can get the nice little fold out uh, keyboard cases, and you get a nice little computer experience. But this, with Android sixteen and being able to have GPU accelerated Linux software on there, oh heavens, oh me, oh my. I could really see using that increasingly for almost everything. I mean, looking at the tech specs of of the current gen of Pixel tablet and considering that they're going to have a new one out just this next year, I think the rumor is that sometime early this next year, there's going to be another uh, Pixel tablet refresh. Uh, put Android 16 on there. Uh, put an whatever put on gimp and 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 vlc and and kdn live and whatever software i want to be running oh that's choice in addition to a whole lot of like mac emulators and dos emulators and whatnot and you have essentially a great linux laptop slash emulation rig slash take it anywhere tablet with all day battery life for a couple hundred dollars that could be a pretty big, a pretty big make or break thing. And what I find fascinating about that is because then we may be at a point where where an Android tablet might make 
the best Linux tablet and Linux uh, sub notebook, netbooks class device that's available. Even though there are multiple companies out there like Framework and System76 and a couple others, Tuxedo, that are that are pushing after that market of the, the, the Linux bundled laptop and tablet market, they're maybe pushing it, but the, the best might end up being a little Android tablet. Uh, I, just, I, I find that incredibly interesting. I, I'm not a huge Google fan, but I tell you what, I'd buy one of those. If, if it turns out that Android 16 really did perform well with GPU accelerated Linux software, oh shoot, you know I'm in. You know I'm in. And I've seen what I really would love to see, and I know this is crazy, but what I'd really love to see is, have, <clears throat> excuse me, have you seen where uh, people have now been able to run <clears throat> x86 games, like Steam games, including Steam itself, on ARM-based Linux machines? They've got, you know, little JIT compilers uh, to run the x86 software on top of ARM. And, and, and if you've got the GPU acceleration, in theory, in theory, we could be at a position where we could run on a little $400 <laughs> Android tablet, we could be able to run Steam and maybe not as crazy fast as, you know, you could on, on, a, on a really tricked out laptop. But if you could still run quite a few games, that's pretty rad. That's pretty rad. So if you've got Android 16 rocking, I want to hear from you because I have questions about performance, about uh, compatibility with all sorts of stuff. So uh, hit me up over at lunduke.com. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you to all the Lunduke Journal subscribers for allowing me to nerd out about this at the moment. I know this isn't breaking news, but, well, doggone it, it's a cool sound and toy, and, and I, I, I'm really excited about that prospect. Getting more GPU-accelerated Linux on more devices seems like a win to me. That seems like a net, a net win for all of us. So I, I'm, I'm pretty psyched. I'm hoping that that ends up shipping with Android 16 when it, when it finally does come out here uh, very soon. Uh, thank you again to all the subscribers over at Lunduke.com. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, nerds and nerdettes across the inner tubes, I do declare and broadcast. <laughs>